here with Pam Denning from Colonial Chorus. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. Thank you. So can you tell everyone a little bit about Colonial Chorus? Well, we established in 1961, and uh, we do musicals, mostly. We've done a few uh, fundraisers recently. We did a one-man show of Christmas Carol. I saw that. It was fabulous. Yes. <laughs> and we did um, uh, Odd Couple, the women's version, mm -hmm. which was a great success. And so um, we're planning now, uh, we're in rehearsal and then about to open Oliver at the um, uh, middle school, Parker Middle School here in Reading. And that goes up March, uh, I'm sorry, May 20th, yeah. 21st, and 22nd. And they can get information about that mm -hmm. on our website, www.ccp1961.org. And is that also how people can find out how to join CCP? Absolutely. Um, if you, you don't have to be an actor to join CCP. Uh, if you're a carpenter, we build sets, uh, seamstress, we do costumes. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have a costume rental business that we do on the side. Uh, and we're a nonprofit, so we raise funds as many ways as we can. So what kinds of um, shows do you have coming up beyond Oliver? Beyond Oliver, uh, we're planning on doing uh, Forever Plaid, hopefully in the fall. And uh, for the rest of the season, we haven't chosen it yet. We usually wait until uh, over the summertime and we'll look at more shows and see what we want to do. But we usually do a small show in the fall and a large show in the spring. And uh, we've renovated a little bit of the Hose House down here on Main Street in Reading um, so that we can do the small shows in our facility. Uh, we got theater seating from North Reading High School. Nice. <laughs> and uh, when they tore it down. And uh, so we've put those in. And it's, it's a really nice little space to do a smaller show in. And uh, we seat about, I would say, 62 people when we do those small shows. But, um, you know, it's nice to do them in our own space because it costs, the cost of renting spaces is so, it's really a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that's why we're trying to stay to do one big show a year, mm -hmm. you know. Do you run programs outside of um, running shows in your season? Are there workshops? Uh, we haven't done any workshops this year. Uh, we've been concentrating on what I might call like rebuilding. Okay. Okay. Um, we, we did do uh, children's theater in the summer and so forth. But uh, right now we're uh, rebuilding and we're also trying to raise funds. We want to build a new theater space right on our location. We have the land to do it. So we're fundraising for that and we're looking for grants and so forth. You mentioned uh, previous fundraisers. Do you have any coming up that people could know about? Uh, well, hopefully we'll do another lovely trivia night yes. here. I was here for trivia night last year. It was fantastic. We had a lot of fun. <laughs> a lot of fun. <laughs> Um, but, uh, yeah, a lot of the fundraising, I have to tell you that our costume rental business has really taken off. And a lot of the schools come to me and other community theater groups. Um, I'm on the board of, um, the board of directors, and um, I take care of all of the costumes in the attic mm -hmm. and the properties, which, you know, that's furniture and dishes and all that stuff. So um, that, that's going quite well. Um, and I know that CCP is uh, really for all ages. Um, yes. You can, mm -hmm. you can be a, a child and get into theater that way or uh, start now as an adult. We have in Oliver, most of our children are from Reading. Great. That's great. That's yeah. good for the community yeah. for sure. It, really. It's <laughs> wonderful. Uh, and then maybe the parents can get involved too. <laughs> well, you know, they are because um, some of them come at, to rehearsal, but a lot of them volunteer backstage to watch the children mm -hmm. during the show. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of them are going to work on set crew, and some of them are going to help with refreshments. Mm -hmm. And, and it's, it's really nice, really nice to have the parents involved. Uh, so if you could uh, just say the contact information again, um, and how, how people can get involved, uh, just so that anyone who wants to know. Um, they can uh, look us up on our website, which is www.ccp1961.org. And um, I believe that we have, uh, if you go online to our website, there's a place uh, that you can order tickets 
you can even call our um, our number at the host house and mm -hmm. leave a message uh, about tickets. And the number at the host house is 781-944-9780. Uh, what are the ticket prices for Oliver? The ticket up? prices for Oliver are 23 for adults and 20 for seniors and uh, students. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, is there anything else that you wanted to say about CCP? It's a it's a great institution. It's been around for a long time. Oh yes, <laughs> oh yes. And um, you know, it's it's a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun when we do shows, and that's what we like to convey to people. It's a fun place to be. Everybody's very active. Um, we have a great board of directors. Um, and I, I can't say any more about it. I started my acting career there in 1977 <laughs> and went off and did my thing and came back now that I retired and have devoted myself to Colonial Chorus. So it really can be a lifelong oh, yeah. background. There, there's people that have been there for 30 years. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Pam, for stopping by. I'm well, sure, thank you. Uh, Oliver will be a great success. Yes. Keep your fingers <laughs> crossed and buy those tickets. Thank you very much. Have okay. a great night. Thanks.